kind of started filming like a little late into this, but to pull your hub apart for the zip, you basically, all you do is you unscrew that screw, just loosen it, then this will spin. You gotta hold the other side of the hub. Uh -huh. this Once that spin. spins off, you push that out, pull it out the other side, boom. And then you're ready to go. You can access everything. I just have this cassette ring on here um, because I left it on earlier. So yeah, Pull that part is very straightforward. And then from there, you'll be good to go to start at the beginning of so the So these end. three little pieces, little metal pieces, those transfer all your power from your hub to your rear wheel. There's three of them. The rest are just springs. So that's what the spring looks like that holds that. That's what holds that little piece up that goes when your free wheel's going. I know it doesn't sound like that, but that was my best impression. So those three pieces contact with your wheel here, and that's what pushes your wheel. So anyway, pop the bearings out. I just used a blunt thing and then a hammer. It doesn't matter. They're not getting reused, a little jacked up. Pop the bearings out. There's one on each side of these wheels, uh, one uh, bigger one, one smaller one. That's the old ones. Um, then there's two more bearings in the hub. One here, one here. I'm gonna pop those out and press them in. Uh, I'll show you guys how I do that um, once I get it all set up. Okay, so we pop the bearings out of here. A little trick, so this side, it didn't matter. We could just flip it and pop it right out. This side, it lays flat. So what we had to do, a uh, little trick I did here, and then use that because that's hollow and pop the bearing through that way made it a lot easier so now we're going to clean up all of this all of that get it all fresh and clean repacked with grease we new bearing in and uh okay so now we got the hub <clears throat> all cleaned up you can see it's still in good shape i mean it's got a little bit of marks there but um we're going to uh Re, we're gonna press the new bearings in. New bearings, these are ceramic. You can get decent bearings for about 10, 15 bucks a pop. Uh, and then we'll rebuild the this little spring part, pack it with grease, and then I'll One show it. One thing I'm doing to make it a little easier to press the bearing in is I'm heating up the hub a little bit with a heat gun. Put a little bit of grease on the outside of the bearing before Actually, I press. Actually, by pressing, by heating the hub up a little bit. I didn't even have to use my special tool. It was able to just press in nice and even by hand. I will use this special tool just to make sure it's seated after I do the okay, other side. So this is the little tool. Uh, basically, it has the right size. Uh, you put these on, they're like kind of plastic so they don't mess the bearing up. And then it, you just screw it together and slowly presses uh, the bearing in. So flush. now this side. And the one inside there is flush as well. Okay, so now we got a clean hub with both bearings pressed in. These are sealed bearings, so I won't put any grease in there at all. Um, I don't think it would do any good. And these are ceramic bearings. And the balls are, are just so Acer uh, racing bearings. Uh, the tool is from Boca. They're both decent uh, products, but so that's that. Now we'll make sure this is all dry and I'll rebuild this. And then okay, I'll try to do this with one hand, but we got a little grease in there. Then this guy just goes Probably won't be able to do this with one hand. <laughs> okay, so we got the little springs in. Now these bad boys go in. See that spring keeps this held pushed up for when it's time to pedal. Otherwise this thing, while well, it just gets pushed down by the gear right okay, now. Now we got it all built. Once I, um, I have to clean that out and press the new bearings in, and then I'll show you guys how this fits in and how it works. It's kind of cool, but these three little metal pieces are what transfers Five. however much power you're pushing when you're sprinting or okay, whatever. So <clears throat> now we got both sides pressed in. You'll notice this one is inset a little. That's how it's supposed to be. It goes to the stop. And then this one's there. So you definitely need, well, otherwise it'd be very, very hard to do this. I'll show you the inset this and this is the bearing that's uh, inset. And then this uh, metal cover goes over it just to prevent dust and stuff from getting in there. Um, but yeah, so the bearings are pressed. 
the hub is ready to go. And uh, I'll try and show you guys that with one hand. It'll look pretty. Okay, so Nikki's helping me. So this hub, this goes in here, and I'm gonna show you guys how this works. So see how these are spring-loaded here? These are spring-loaded. So what happens, just bring the camera right around there. Okay, this so in. In order to do that, I gotta press these down. You guys can see the little things in there that catch these. So this is what I mean by all your power is transferred by this one, okay. So, just so you can see, so when you hear the, that is those little tongs flicking up on the things. Now when you put, go this way, they're spring loaded, so they pop out, and then any or power the wheel spin is transferred from these three pieces. Those transfer all your power to that wheel. It's crazy. Okay, so this is the axle. You can see where it's worn a little from the bearings, but basically, so now this will go here, like so. Then this little keeper will go on to, this just holds uh, the hub in place. Once we get it on, there we go. There. That just holds the hub in place. Put the axle through with the, there we go, with the hub on. Then we just compress these guys down slide it in so then on the other side this guy will get the the washer and the retainer clip this retainer clip will go there and then so this guy will go on this guy will get screwed on i'll show you guys that next but first we need to i'm actually going to pull this back off and pack some grease in there uh, that'll be to keep any water and then the dust seal also protects. Okay, so now we got our hub. Uh, we put a little grease in there. This bearing here, um, I could put some grease in under this, but I don't want to. I feel like it's just going to attract dirt. Um, so we go flat side. This little piece here has a rubber gasket. All that is to keep dirt and water out of these bearings because as soon as there gets water in there, it's no, it's, uh, no good. So anyhow, this goes on here, like so. And you take this piece, which I had to buy a whole new one of these, it's $47 for this little piece, oh, super annoying. Now this will screw on all the way, this is what Zip says to do, okay? So you screw now this on. flush, okay? And once it gets flush, it'll start spinning on this side. This will start spinning with it. You can see that spinning. So, okay, so once you get it flush, you back it off a third of a turn. So I'm going to say it's probably about, that's a quarter, that's a third. Now, you'll notice this is still going to be loose that's a little. main that. issue. But after doing some reading, this will end up having some play. It's just how it is. So now you tighten that screw down, and you are done, ready to roll. Now, so... This is not as loose as it was before, and that's because there's brand new bearings in there. So the play that I was getting was the play in the bearings, and it was probably fine, but it's time for new bearings. Um, so now this should be good. Uh, it should remain uh, without play, and it won't catch the cassette. The issue is, is if you tighten this down too far, and then you strap it in uh, to your rear dropout, we'll start pulling your chain. It'll, it, the free wheel will stop working. So anyway, that's that, that one's done. Onto the front. Gotta love that sound. And for the Zip uh, 808 or, you know, the front wheel, uh, it'll be the exact same process, except for there's no cassette, but you can see same thing. You unscrew that screw, that unscrews, this will unscrew here, that will and unscrew, and then there's only two bearings. So you pull each of those out, press them back in. Um, if you guys are looking for a bearing pressing tool, I got this one off of Boca bearing. It was like 20 the most, and it'll do all, it'll even do your bottom brackets, so. Uh, highly recommend it. They sent this sweet little mouse pad that comes with so you can see what size bearings you need. Um, if you're doing the zips, uh, this bearing is a 
17 by 26 by five, you need four of those. And then you need one of the big dogs, the 15, 26. All right, so front wheel, we pulled that apart, popped the old bearings out, pressed the new ones in, and you can see these are inset also. So it's pretty important to have that tool because if you don't get them right, that little red piece that's supposed to sit flush won't sit flush and your bearing will be all messed up.